We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. If you go out there, what will they have you doing? Well, then most likely. Three-month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. Thanks. Good morning. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessing's mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble! Run, Regine! Get down! Get down! done with you, Lincoln! Sammy's next!
Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velo started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy, I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lui qui sait diverses ses suscites hostilité. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get Sammy, we doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Him, Alice, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. Papa Legs by open the gate for me. This time, Atibon Legs. Mm-hmm. 
should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano, ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigger. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Damn. 
got it. Shoot him. Asshole. First I kill you, then I kill it, you. Fuck you! Who won't Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you! You can't take those stones! You fucking pig! Damn you to hell! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me. I kiss you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over! <laughs> This is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Seriously? What the fuck are you doing? Sammy's boy is in there! Kill him! Think about it, shoot him! Firebomb that fucker! Bastard's gonna burn! And on that motherfucker!
get your guns. Shit! I'm taking cover! Fire from the sky! Reload, damn it! Get away from me! We ain't your people, Cocktogo! Hit me from here! Let me at this point! Fucking empty! Damn it! Let's watch him burn! Like he's gone. So Make I call sure this a win. Gone. You see that too? No excuses! Tear this place up! Throw a Molotov! See him? I'm throwing a Molotov! Target practice starts now. Oh, oh fuck off! Damn it! Need more shells! Shit! I'm taking you bleed! This is getting goddamn ridiculous. Was that him? No trace. Let's check in there. Oh! Oh, 
just... Oh, fuck it, it's oh. your car. Bash it up all you want. Uh, must I... Get Where was I? Away. Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. I can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out the way, things will calm down. We're back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us a gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, I pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Damn, his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Son, dear listener. Well, that was a much needed break because old Remy had to put a little more fuel on the fire today. <laughs> 
Yeah, thankfully, my producer, Gilbert. Uh, thank you, Gilbert. wanted me to remind y'all that Tasty Patisserie is still filling orders for King Cakes for the upcoming Mardi Gras festivities. Now you tell her Remy sent you, and if you buy two, get one free. Can't beat that? So go on over there and tell her I sent you. Hmm. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to enjoy my coffee on air. <laughs> oh, Gilbert's turning red, folks. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, we like to have our fun there, listen. And that's what Mardi Gras is gonna be all about. Good old-fashioned New Bordeaux F-U-N. And if I sound a little enthusiastic, well, I'm sorry about it. But I am. I've talked before about being honored to be part of the crew of knights for the 10th year running. We got a heck of a float plan for y'all, and we have spared no expense in strutting our stuff. Now. This will be my first crew since my daddy died last year. Dear listener, you know how important Mardi Gras was to him. God rest his soul, he was one of the crew of Knight's Founders. He was captain for four years, and I can remember, and daddy was Rex back in 1932, for those of you whose memories go all the way back then. Oh, you know, I tell you, he'd spend weeks, that months, preparing. More than anything else, it was the tradition, the feeling of being part of something, of this city that he loved so. My father believed that every man had his role to play, and every role contributed to the greater whole. Those Reds over in Russia, even the ones here at home, they try to sell that as equality. No, sir. There's always going to be a king, and each king has his day. Mm. I'll tell you, that coffee sure is fine. On the next episode, you better believe we're going to talk about this here story that President Johnson is considering a deal with the Russians to scale back our nuclear program. We're going to that and a lot more right here at Native Sun. No 